very awkward turn, but you have to take wide. I'm watching my chair. Oh, y'all see me go around that freaking curve there. What is up guys? Dave back again for another trucking vlog. And I gotta fix my, there we go. I had to fix my armrest here. It was all kind of jacked up. Uh, anyways, yeah, we are in the middle of nowhere, Mississippi right now, uh, close to Newton, Mississippi, which is where our pickup is. Don't matter if you're in the middle of nowhere or not, there's a Dollar General right there. It's just, oh, we're dropping from 45 to 35 here. My GPS warned me, but I got down in time. That's all that matters. I'm compliant. DOT shouldn't mess with me. <laughs> I saw a meme the other day on, uh, Facebook where it had, like, the caption read, when DOT pulls you over for an inspection, and then it had a shot down with the driver with his uh, foot on a $5 bill with the door open and like the $5 bill under his foot. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. It's a little bitty old town right here. Everything like closed, it looks abandoned. <laughs> Look at that, like old school saloon looking thing. Ah, a truck driver lives there. A bobtail. I wish we could take bobtail home. They always send me with a dang trailer. I'd love to be out of bobtail home. I gotta park my truck on family's land. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Just making sure you saw me, buddy. I gotta park my truck on, like, family's land because with a trailer, I can't fit my truck in my house. So, like, yeah, I don't really have any option. But, anyways, um, yeah. If you guys watched my video where... I went and picked up at a Lazy Boy in Newton, Mississippi. This is where we are going again. It was when I told y'all that if you followed me on Snapchat that I didn't know where to check in here. I'm knocking on all the doors and dock doors and everything else. Nobody's there. It was a Sunday just like today. And like nobody's there. I can't get anyone to help me. I dropped my trailer. Couldn't get my loaded trailer because I didn't have the paperwork. And like come to find out after you enter the gate there's a little bitty guard shack on the left with a little sign that says like drivers get your paperwork here and i missed it and uh at least now i know what i'm doing so we're gonna be there in just about 20 minutes and yeah we'll see how it goes shouldn't be a big problem this time um like i said i know exactly what to do so yeah i like how the job gets just a little easier over time it's kind of i mean you're always gonna run into crap it never ends but over time as you get a little bit better and more experienced with some of the crap and then also you get to learn some of the customers so then this isn't gonna trip me up today because i know what to do it just makes your life a little bit easier over time but like i said it's never gonna end the bs like it's just it's just trucking that's trucking as it is now i understand why there's comments get used to it dave that's trucking came when i first started this job because it's true it's just you just you just gotta get used to it there is no there's no end to the bs all right boys we are just a few minutes away now gonna be watching a satellite so i can get to the place i do know that it's gonna take me pretty much straight there the satellite's gonna help me find the proper entrance though because uh the gps takes me like a, it tells me to turn in like a little bit before the actual entrance that i have to take so since I've done this before, I know what to look for. It's gonna be like a big car parking lot that normally on the weekdays would be full of cars and workers, but last time I was here on a Sunday too, it was just empty. So I just pulled into that car parking lot and parked and tried to figure out what I had to do, which was nice. And yeah, I remember this exact turn right here. All of this is exactly the same. Cause yeah, I couldn't remember if you turn here. I was like, do you, do you turn in this spot right here? Which yeah, you do see it's a double line so but it just looked kind of sketchy at first like I was turning into oncoming traffic or something now oh, we get some turn cam action up here on Church Street all right 35 miles an hour be easy easy like Sunday morning I said I mean like Sunday morning. Sing it. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. We're two minutes away, she says. So 
what the lady says. Still 35. We just in creep mode right now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it's such a better feeling when you know what the heck to do. It is. Well, I don't even, I don't have to use much brain power today. That's nice coming off a of home time. I, I just get to take it At easy. The end of Easy like Sunday morning. It's Sunday too, so traffic's light. This place is gonna be empty. I'm just gonna go in and do my thing and get right out. Watch, it's gonna be a problem. Just watch. <laughs> you, you don't ever wanna talk like this, because when you start talking like this is when something's gonna happen wrong. All of y'all know. Hey, I took, a, I took a picture of my turn cam here when I had to make this right before. It's a pretty tight little right. I actually, one of the, the video's thumbnail was this. Turn right on East Church Street. I think I titled it, I put an American Truck Simulator camera on my truck or something. Or view. No, American Truck Simulator view. Complete stop. Nobody's coming. What about right? Nobody's coming. That truck's not going to get on my right. Nope, they're staying behind me. Thank you very much. And watch that turn cam, boys. Beautiful. <laughs> get back over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Blinking red light, that means Roxy. That's an old school theater right there, man. Y'all see that? That's pretty cool. Oh, shoot. Means it's a stop sign. Let's just make sure nobody's coming just in case, because not everybody drives the way you're supposed to drive. We're good. You know, somebody like, oh, the light's blinking red. I can just fly through it. Yeah, uh, don't put it past people. Do not put it past people, man. Florist. This is such an interesting little, it's a little quaint town, isn't it, boys? A little quaint town. I like it. Yeah, I take this right right here. I remember this turn too. We did the turn cam on this one last time. I'm trying to make sure nobody's coming so I know I can take this as wide as I need to. Because I have to take this wide because it's a very awkward turn. Very awkward turn. But you have to take wide. I'm watching my chair. Oh, y'all see me go around that freaking curve there. Oh, shoot, man. Easy like Sunday morning. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's a real good day today. First day after home time. Easy. Sun. Yep, right up here. Okay, so, because I remember last time I was like, hey, they're turning here. No. I was like, let me pork over here and figure it out. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm from here. I'm just a dumb truck driver. What do I do around here? Look at picnic tables and everything out there in the middle of the freaking parking lot. That's what we need. That's Man, that's what we need at the Loves and the Pilot and the TAs and everything. Then maybe we might, we might hang out together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put us a little barbecue grill. You got a stop sign, homeboy. Making sure he wasn't going to go. I can't. I can't get over to the right much more. Lord, have mercy. Right here, boys, this is the street, because uh, you actually, I think you could turn into this park. Yeah, yeah, you actually turn into this parking lot. That's the parking lot that I parked at. Y'all probably remember all this now. Oh, the gate's open. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that makes it easy. Easy, easy peasy. Let's get up in here real quick. Come on. Be easy. There's little potholes right here. Just little ones. It ain't nothing bad. We can go a little bit. We can go a little bit. Last time my trailer was here, but it's not here now, so I guess that's back there in the lot. Is the gate open or am I tripping? <sighs> yeah, my trailer was up front last time, so that's different. They say it's already preloaded and done. And my, my trailer number is like 37943, I think. I'll know when I see it. Yeah, it's open. Sweet. <laughs> I walked around banging on all these doors last time looking for who gave me my paperwork and your paperwork's in this little guard shack the whole time. There's like a little bitty sign, man. Seriously. Like, I didn't know. There was a lot of like, you're an idiot. You didn't see that? You're a stupid ass. You shouldn't be driving a truck. No, all that stuff. All right. We're going to park right here. Make sure my trailer clears that fence post. Oh, let's pull the trailer over a little bit. Let's make sure we're in the fence. We are. And we're going to hang out right here, boys, real quick. And we're going to go run and get our paperwork. Hell, I'll take y'all with me. Oh. Yeah, I'm here, CFI. 
Look how clean my floors are. Well, I got a little bit there. But anyways, I clean these floors. And then look at this. Because of where my truck sits, I had to get in and out of here carrying all my stuff in this morning. And I took my shoes off every time, but that's just what happens. Ain't nothing I can do, man. It's just going to be dirty. It's going to be dirty. Yeah, this place is just dead on a Sunday, man. Ain't like nothing going on. That's why I'm easy. easy. Yeah, here was a sign right here. It says, all, like, all drivers moo at the gate and go into guard shack to sign for pickup bills. And I just missed it and I just drove right past it. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I got a camera on you too. Well guys, we have a problem. The paperwork is not in there. I looked like three times through all the paperwork. Mine is not there. Um, I see no paperwork matching CFI or the trailer number or anything. So oh, I hope somebody's here, man. See, I shouldn't, I got too excited too early. I told y'all there was going to be something. I told y'all there was going to be something. And you know why? You know why there was something? Because that's trucking. That's trucking, Dave. Get used to it. I was hoping I'd be on the road already. Cruising to where I got to go. And instead, I got to do these shenanigans. So now I got to call dispatch and everything else. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back with y'all in a minute when I figure things out. You know, boys, I got way too ahead of myself with this easy like Sunday morning crap because this is turning into a nightmare. Turning my turn cam on. Here's the deal. So I talked to dispatch and the dispatcher was like, well, let me call the planners because it's looking like that the shipper's late or something and it's not ready, maybe. I'm like, OK, so he talks to the planners. Planners come back and says, well, there's like another drop you lot or something. And they don't know exactly where it is. They're saying it's like two blocks away and you go into a gate, etc. So I look on my satellite, boys, and like I don't see anything around here two blocks away that has trailers in it or looks like a drop lot. I honestly do not know unless it's back down the Scanlon Street is the only thing that I can think of. Maybe I just go hit a quick block or something. You can't even hit a block. You basically, you basically just leave this place. And there's nowhere with a drop lot. Like, I don't know. Can I just... I don't know. Like, they can't... They didn't give me an address or anything. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. He wasn't sure. He, I mean, he was helpful as... as all you know what i mean he was trying but the planners are just like oh it's probably somewhere else send them there but he don't know where to send me <laughs> so what do i do do i just drive around looking for this trailer somewhere i mean i'm gonna drive around this building because that's the only thing that i can think to do but because see i'm gonna go back down to scanlon street and if you take a right there's no way to turn around well maybe i can make I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to turn around at, man. There's not like a block around this thing. But there's nothing that looks like two blocks away. There's a trailer lot. It said it's part of... The, he was saying it's part of this facility. Last time I came here, my trailer was right here. It was literally right there. I don't know if that's what he's talking about. Maybe it's there. I don't know. Supposedly there's two gates or something. I really don't know, boys. But yeah, I got way too ahead of myself thinking I was going to have an easy time. I can't see. There ain't trailers back there, is there? Is that part of their facility or not? You know what? We're going to go walk. You know what? Let's, before we, I mean, it says that's not two blocks away. It's right next door. Hell, I don't freaking know. Y'all want to go take a walk? Let's go, let's go, let's go have a little happy, happy walk today. You know, explore freaking Newton, Mississippi for a while. I don't know what the hell that is. Give me my other hat in case there's somebody there and they don't like my hat cam. I'm going to walk myself all the way up here. Shipping and receiving to the left. Well, what's this gate up here? What is this, a gated community or something? <sighs> Every time I come here, I got problems. At least last time, you know, once I realized the paperwork was in that guard shack, it was straightforward. But... <laughs> 
That's trucking Dave. Look, I gotta wait. I told y'all what was gonna happen. I said, because I'm acting like this and thinking that everything's gonna go smooth and that it's an easy Sunday morning, this is gonna happen. And sure enough, it did. I'm just gonna go read this sign up here because I definitely ain't turning down here because there's you'd have to back all the way. <laughs> I ain't turn it down here. God bless. So anyways, I don't know if I told y'all, but I, I, he told me, he said, well, go see if the, the, the paperwork's in the trailer. Well, while I was on hold with dispatch, I drove back there. There's only two trailers in their four series. I'm picking up a three series. And I was like, dude, the trailer's not even here. And he's like, oh, he's like, well, from what I'm looking at, yeah, this ain't even a trailer lot. This is, this is something else. This ain't even a, it's a nice day today though. It feels really good this morning. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and it's freaking feels amazing commercial vehicles entrance for what what is this place see i don't know commercial vehicle entrance no this is residential center yeah this is central mississippi residential center because uh, i thought it looked like it was some type of residential yeah i i don't go back there should i go back there and look one more time and make sure that See, my paperwork's not there and the trailer's not here. Either one. I drove all back there looking for the trailer. I didn't show y'all because I was on my headset with the dispatcher, so I couldn't exactly film and do that part for y'all. But all I did was drive back there through the lot, and there's no there's no three series trailer back there. It's two fours. So yeah. Get my freaking exercise this morning. You know what? I'm gonna drive up here, look around the building. I already looked at the satellite, I don't see anything, and then I'm gonna call him back and be like, sorry, I can't find it. Like, I need better info. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't even know how I'm gonna turn around and get back over this way. This don't make no sense. That's why I'm easy. Easy like Sunday morning. Ah, God bless. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right. Oh, the car's coming right when I was gonna turn. I'm gonna wait. Hey, if that big G Foods opens up and then I go there and get some food. Shoot, I might end up doing that if I had nothing else to do here. <laughs> All right, turn cam. I think it's still on, should be. There we go. Where is the other drop lot at, man? Okay, so, there's no drop lots, no CFI trailers. So I'm looking for anything, a CFI trailer or something. There's a big lot here. There is like an entrance to the back of this building, which this is the, this is the business here. That says Lazy Boy, no, Leather Cutting Deliveries. Boy, receiving is down that, this is receiving. There's no CFI trailers over there. We're gonna turn into this parking lot because, well, you know what? We're gonna take a walk, boys. We're gonna walk around freaking Newton. All right, we got in, no problem. Am I even supposed to, I didn't see no signs or nothing saying that I couldn't park here. So you know what, we gonna go walk the block. <laughs> Walking with Dave, let's change the channel name. Walking with Dave, and what we do around here is we walk. There ain't no signs or nothing, this is just an empty parking lot. No signs, no no parking, no no nothing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna park right here and we are gonna go take ourselves a walk. I'm gonna bring y'all with me with the camera on. I gotta get that turn cam off of there so somebody don't steal it. And my wallet. Anything of value, basically. All right, boys, I got the turn cam off of there now. Make sure nobody steals my crap. I'm gonna go walk around this place because they said it's part of this facility, is what he said. It's what it sounded like, so hell if I know. Yeah, it looks like this company just uses this lot to park their trucks in, I guess. 
See, that says Lazy Boy Receiving. There's one trailer in the dock there. Is there a CFI trailer back there on this other side of it? I can't tell. Okay, so he said something about across the street from a fire station, but that is not a CFI trailer on that side. All right, let's continue. <laughs> That's trucking, boys. That's trucking. So this is part of the facility too, right? I'm just gonna walk fast and act like I'm exercising. Oh, you know, by, if anybody messes with me, what are you doing back here? I'm exercising. I was walking. Oh God. You see, you see, you, you, look, you guys see what you gotta do sometimes as a truck driver. This is just, I told y'all, it just, it, it never ends. It never ends. This, this is, this is what it's like. Walking around a random town, <laughs> trying to figure stuff out with lack of information. See, there's some trailers and stuff dropped there, but I don't see anything. And this is the build. There's nothing back here, man. This just takes me right back to where I started. That's the build. I was inside of there. There was no CFI trailers. If this was a drop lot form, it ain't no more. All right. I gotta call CFI. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Look at my red truck in the sea of blue trucks over there. It looks kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I seriously don't know what to do, boys. Like, I don't know. I, I mean, I can't just drive around here aimlessly in a big truck. You know what I mean? Like, probably gonna be no truck routes because I don't know where I'm going. Nothing shows up on the satellite as a freaking trailer drop lot. I'm just gonna call back, tell them I don't know what to do. Cause I don't <laughs> see I go out of my way for stuff like this though I feel like I, I I really do try like I really try boys like I do I don't just like I don't care oh, you all better give me an address like I try I try to figure out the situation I try my best sometimes <laughs> you just don't have enough to work with man oh and there was a number on the gate to call for weekend and p.m service and its number's been disconnected so it's like there's absolutely nothing i can do at this point boys there's absolutely nothing that i can do i can't get in touch with the number i don't see any drop lot the satellite's not helping me out with a drop lot i don't just want to start taking turns at random looking around you know what i mean like i, I just i need more than that I gotta have something else here. So guys, once again, I'll be right back. Let me figure this out. Let me call dispatch again, and I'll be back with y'all. All right, guys, so come to find out, um, you know, I spent a long time on the phone with one of the dispatchers. Uh, she was trying to help me out, but she was looking at the satellite with me. She's like, I don't see anything else. And supposedly there's plant one and two, but they're both at the same address. So. She's like, yeah, it says if not at plant one, then check plant two. And I'm like, well, I checked everywhere around here. And then she was like, yeah, when I put in plant two, lazy boy, it shows the same address as plant one is at, which is here. And all the things that we walked around looking at, there's just nothing. So they open at seven o'clock in the morning. So like my dispatch time has been updated to seven o'clock in the morning here. So I'm just gonna have to come back at seven and look for it. So. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna end this part of the video here and I will start the next part when we come here at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, guys, fun, fun. That's what we're gonna do. So I will be back with y'all tomorrow. <laughs>